Hey guys, so we're back here. Uh, I guess we're chasing again today. Uh, today's April 17th. Um, and if we see a tornado, this will probably be posted before my chase I did before this one, but that's fine. Uh, fact of the matter is here, we do have a tornado watch here in Columbus until 7 o'clock tonight. Uh, my goal is to chase from roughly 2.30 to 5.30 this afternoon. And I think that's going to work generally to the north of Columbus, perhaps Delaware, uh, maybe a bit north of there where there's some more fields uh, so that I can see what's going on. So we're going to see what's going on. I'm going to show you guys the mesoscale discussion here. And as we can see here, uh, they gave us a 95% chance of watch. We have a great, great hunter graphs already here. We already have cells developing here in Indiana. Uh, here, that that's Columbus. I guess we could do that. That's fine. Uh, and, and so essentially at the moment, you do see s still cloud cover uh, throughout the state once this like these high stronger clouds here maybe Dayton to Columbus once those pass we should have some heating here in uh, what may be a dry slot here behind it before we get to that moisture with the cold front coming in uh, later this afternoon so that's what we're hoping for at the moment uh, again we're we're going into the low 70 dew points uh and, and dew points into the low 60s, sorry, and we're already there. Our dew points are already in the low 60s here at the moment, uh, and, and I really think there are going to be supercell small line segments, just like the Storm Prediction Center is saying, uh, and I like everything except for here. I'm going to show you another photograph just for briefly before I do that. There's the forecast radar here uh, at uh, 4 p.m. this afternoon. Let's go back to 5 uh, or sorry, 3 p.m. this afternoon, and let's take a look at the photograph, uh, let's say between Delaware and Union counties right there. Uh, and as we can see, way too zoomed in, uh, the, the dew points in at least the upper 50s, uh, a bit more would be better. That low-level shear surface to one kilometer isn't great. However, uh, we can see, though, those, those upper-level shear is a bit higher than the previous photographs or, or what it is currently. So that's good news, uh, marginal tornado sounding. We'll see exactly what happens with this, but I do like a lot of these numbers here. Uh, can't complain about that. The SRH values I would like to be a tad higher, and I bet here if we go back to uh, 20Z here uh, in Delaware County, uh, yeah, a big tornado sounding. Wow, look at that zero to one kilometer shear vector there. Uh, that That's insanely good. Look at that dew point. Holy smokes. Uh, yeah, SRH value in the 400, that low level shear. Holy smokes, man. Um, yeah, if this happens, we're going to be in business. Um, so stay tuned. We'll see if we're dealing. I really like how things are looking. I'm going to leave now. We're headed towards Delaware or Ashley. I think I'm going to target Ashley, see what happens from there. There's two strong cells right now, one near Wapakoneta, uh, which did produce a tornado, according to Storm uh, Spotter Network reports. We'll see what happens with one further to the south, which looks stronger at the moment. Uh, again, we'll see what happens, but let's get on the road. We're currently just south of Ashley, Ohio. We're currently looking at the cell near Sydney, Ohio for potential development. At the moment, though, we do have a little bit of rain uh, to our north, so that's uh, fun and exciting. Uh, but we're just going to sit tight for the moment. I really think this is the spot. we got a great view here, no power lines, uh, huge field. That grove of trees may be a problem, so we might have to go further east to get that, that whole set of trees out of our view of the horizon. Uh, but if something develops out there, uh, we should still be able to see it. So uh, we'll bring you guys back in when we have an update on that Sydney cell or any other cell that's worth chasing. Our friend Cal said to take a look outside, so we'll take a look outside. We could see a little something there. Uh, can't really tell from this angle if it's rotating. You probably can't even hear me because of the wind, so apologies. Uh, all right, bring you guys back soon. So we're still watching this thing here. We'll see if anything happens. I don't know if it will, uh, but we're getting much clearer here ahead of the next line of storms, which is, I mean, ideal if we want to try to see something. Problem is it might go linear. If it goes linear, then oh well, I guess we're just getting wind, which we're already getting wind, so who cares? Strong wind out of the south at the moment, which is good if it's coming from the west. That means we got a little shear action going on. Uh, we definitely aren't going north anytime soon because there's a 
big old train Latest is there is a cell near Troy with a severe thunderstorm warning. It's actually the only cell even close to us with the severe thunderstorm warning on it. Uh, if that's the case, that means we're probably going to have to drive south. The problem is driving south, we get into the city. So it's going to have to be more southwest. Um, so I'm thinking Plain City now. We're currently near Ashley, Ohio, like I said. Uh, so Plain City, maybe. As you can definitely see, it's getting more clear, uh, which is going to increase those dew points according to the HRRR from the mid-50s up uh, into the low 60s, which is a world of difference. Um, so, yeah, we're going to see sit here for probably a minute or two and then uh, reassess. And if I come back to you in a different location, you know why. Yeah. So, uh, Sean, how do you feel about that? Oh, yeah. Take big, the camera. Big W, dude. Big W. Uh, I assume that's a tornado warning. Yeah, yeah, it was. Nah. Tornado warning in this area until 4.45 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. Let's Take go. shelter now in a basement or an interior room on the lowest floor of a or sturdy building. Chasing. If you are outdoors. Shut up. Uh, <laughs> if you are outdoors. Yeah, right. Well, we are currently Sorry, out of doors. I don't understand. All right, the, the cell we're looking at is up there to the north side. Uh, we'll see what happens. I think we have it. I think we have it. The rotation's currently near U Urbana. It looks beautiful uh, on radar, I think. Uh, it's the whole reason we left Ashley, so it better be worth it. Um, we have about five minutes till we get where we want to be. And I hope we have a good view from there. Uh, the question is how close we're going to have to get to the storm, which might mean we have to head back up to the north. So, yeah. Uh, we'll see what happens, and we'll bring you guys back in soon. Maybe hit the red button, that'll kill it. Ladies and gentlemen, we are in a warning. You could hear the sirens a second ago. Uh, it's not great. We're on the side of a U.S. state route, but that's kind of our view at the moment. Um, I'm going to look on the map, see if we can find a better location to go. But I like this. Uh, also, check radar and see if we can get better than this but again i think i think we want a view to the north and we need to be close to it because of the amount of rain uh with this storm all right we can't tell if there's something here yet but if there is man oh man i mean if not there's pretty much still over here that we can't yet see If there's one there, we're going to see it. Oh, I think I see it. So that wind is crazy. Yeah. Alright, we can't tell if there's something here yet. But if there is. Man, oh man. Maybe there. If not, there's a whole bunch still over here that we can't yet see. But I really like the look right there. It doesn't look dense though. Be a really weak one. There's also kind of this area too. It's interesting. Yeah, again, I can't tell if it's that kind of more heavy area or or not. Yeah. Just reposition us a little. Huh.
see the scud heading up yep. into the base. Is that good? Yeah. I mean, if we have an updraft, that's part of the way there. I think there's a rotation. See it if it's there. I need those velocities to come back though. She's angry. It's gonna get wet here soon. If rotation right there and again, that's funnel-esque I don't want to quite call it a funnel because it's not concentrated enough but there's definitely broad rotation located here that's rain you're seeing down there that's not a funnel reaching the ground as we would call it a tornado in the biz but I like it as I've been telling Sean all day I like it but I don't love it Oh, lightning action up on top of us now. Uh, I mean, maybe with the chase to the car, but uh, for now, we'll stand outside. People behind us are standing outside. They're having a whole neighborhood party. Yep. Like cars all over the place. Looks like we brought some attention. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was coming together for a hot second. Still good. These things, they'll come together and fall apart just until it's right. Is that a little? Yeah, I think maybe. Is I that think a little? Maybe showing. We do. Come we on. have all that space throughout the rest of here. We have a great view. This construction guys are just going on like, like no, nothing. Nobody even cares. Come on. Broad rotation right there, and, and that's funnel-esque. I don't want to quite call it a funnel because it's not concentrated enough. But there's definitely broad rotation located here. That's rain you're seeing. Crawford, it's game over. Oh, I'm not graduating, it's over. Oh, okay, is... uh, excuse me, sir. 
I mean, that's gotta be like, what, a few feet off the ground. Yeah. A few hundred feet. Yep. Oh, look at that rain coming in. Mm hmm. Oh, man. Okay. I don't need both of these things going. Here it comes. Yep. Strap in. Don't get windy. Look into the base of the clouds here. Look at the rain coming, that rain shield. Okay, this is fun. Insanely small hail, less than pea size, maybe about pea size, but we do have pea sized hail. I can confirm hail on the windshield, hail on the windshield and on the ground outside, uh, but you can see it. It's getting slightly bigger, but there is hail. Again, we have our front windshield to face towards the stuff because it is the strongest windshield, supposedly. <laughs> Wait, a little bigger. Yeah, definitely bigger, maybe half inch now. I can't really tell if I'm exploding on contact. But you can definitely see down there, I would say half inch at most. Uh, I think the heaviest hail is actually to our south, according to radar. Uh, but I guarantee there's hail because you're seeing it. Uh, is this right? We might get some hail accumulation like snow. You know, yeah, whatever. I think we might get past it here soon. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Also, I take back what I said. We're definitely in the center of the hail core, but that's okay. Sorry, Dad. <laughs>